What's up guys, it is JT Traveler. We're gonna be going to Austin's art tour on bike today. So we're gonna be biking downtown uh, to a park. It's gonna be about 14 miles there and then a two hour and a half uh, bike ride around Austin, I think, just looking at murals. But since last video, I have changed my tires because those mountain bike tires are good, but they're not good on the road. So I had got me some hybrid tires. They're 700 by 40 hybrid tires by Charge. Only $25 tires from Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, just because I wanted to test them out, make sure that I like this style of tire before I spend big money on it. And I do. Yes, I do. Let's get over there, guys. Uh, transition, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go through my eye. So far, these tires perform great on the pavement and sidewalk. It does decent on gravel. You just gotta be more careful. It is currently 8.19 and we just started. So we got an hour and 17 minutes to the, the location, which is 14 miles away. Whoa. Yeah, but we're going fast, way faster. Woo too fast. Ooh, boy, this is steep. This is steep. This is steep. All right. Now we're at this trail. Doggy, 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 doggy. I'm gonna take a photo. Got my camera on me again. So we're almost there, like 28 minutes away. 4.8, 4.8 miles left. So I think now we should start looking for some food. All right, I see some tents, is there some vendors? Do we got any events today? Look at that. This little wood part reminds me of uh, Chicago when you're going towards the bean. $60 shoes. What are you talking about? That's nice. I'd buy those. If I needed some shoes, I need a large. I think I got shorts. I was thinking about getting some shorts. Yeah, they're too short shorts for me though. These are like kid sizes though. Man, I don't spend enough time downtown. I really don't. Look at that. I'm gonna take another photo. Can I get Americano? And then, how much are these coffee things? Uh, how much? Yeah. It is $5. Okay, I'm gonna pass on that and get me a sandwich. All right, let's see. Well, wait. That should be it. And a uh, good name for you? Justin. Uh, Who's this one? Justin? Yeah, uh, do you have a, awesome, perfect. All right, so this is the Americano. I don't know why I drunk got this. Why did I get something hot? That was so stupid. And on top of it being hot, it's boiling. Okay, so this is what we're doing. Putting this water in my bladder. And then we're gonna put the coffee in this, along with some cold water. Okay. Now, even though that coffee obliterated my mouth, it did taste good. Now we're gonna go to Starbucks, get me a sandwich. Eat a Starbucks sandwich. This guy, he all the way up here cleaning this. That's sick. <laughs> it's right here. This is a wrap. It looks good. It's just burning hot.
I give that spinach feta wrap. I give it a 7.8 out of 10. It was pretty good. I can just sense the vibes. Hello. Yeah, like a thrift event happening over here. That's pretty cool. He wants us to go this way. Hmm. I don't know about that. Yeah, it's not the right way. It's not the right way. Right? Like, that's like your chariot. Like, you're lounging. Is this the mural tour? Yes. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Awesome, awesome. Tom is our director, and Redline Parkway Initiative is a nonprofit that's here to support the Redline Parkway. So, this parkway to be built starting at downtown okay. that runs all the way up to Leander and it runs along the Red Line train. So, within the right of way. Okay. Okay, so what that means is it's a protected parkway, yes. it's away from cars unless you're in the urban center. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Highlighted in orange is the part that is completed, okay. and so everything else is the planning and the design of the future part of the parkway. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> All right, so we are at 15 miles per hour. Uh, not 15 miles per hour. We are at 15 miles so far. And we just got here. And we did. We've been here. So, this is all the people. Not as fast as it usually goes, but I think it's about to stop. I want to ride this, though. So when somebody comes around the corner, what do you yell? Oh, bike up. Bike up? Okay, yeah. that's cool. I didn't know about that. <laughs> runner up, yeah. Runner up, okay, that's good. 
I just got into biking, so I'm learning all the terminology and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it's just a river phrase, so a lot of people know there's someone coming out. Yeah, I was wondering how they, because some people be flying over that corner. Yeah, yeah. Here's a cool one. I don't think it's on the. Uh, ride leaders. It's Brianna. That's awesome. Yeah. We're going to do that awkward ride. Right there, 1000. Can you help? Maybe one of you come up to the front. They go fast too, yeah. I don't, I don't have a feel for how much roots can jack her. I don't know what size. I think I've got a size. This mural is from 1978 by Michael and Austin Raul Valdez. The mural is inspired by Chicano culture and Mexican history. It includes Aztecs, Spanish conquistadors, the Chicano civil rights movement, and contemporary life. So many of the murals that we're going to see are really from the last two or three years. So it's fun to see something that really dates back in Austin. I think I hear some skateboarders around these parts. And now those are right. I think you see Dedo here. Like, what you say? It's not better? The, the, like the day before the election. Oh, okay. So it was a huge event. Looks like Avatar right there. Alright, it's getting a little hot out here, man. Not gonna lie. This is cool. It reminds me of like Frenzo. Princess Goya or Goya. Ooh, that's amazing. You see that? That's more like, that's like my painting style. That's cool. This looks like he's talking about war. This is how it looked like I'm getting out of bed. And in the back, we got this right here. Pretty cool mural. It's more like humid outside. It's not really super hot, humid. I like this top though. It's helping me out a lot. I gotta get another one, but I got from TJ Maxx, so it's one in a million. All right, rolling out. Look at that swing, honey. Talking to my shawty right now. I bet she wants to swing on the swings. Ooh, almost went off the road. All right, it is currently 11.42. We are 18.4 miles in. And then my heartbeat is at 128, which is a, it's pretty good. Artist. Wow, look at that. This is my favorite mural over here. Tell me why that one reminds me of me. That one that's bending down. Because <laughs> the head. And they got more over here. Pretty cool. Alright, it's getting a little hot, guys. I'm starting to feel it. Got my sleeves rolled up. This one's a little hard to see. It's up there. Oh, uh, oh, cool. So it's up there. Let me help you get off the bike. That's a really cool mural. I'm gonna switch to the camera so you guys can see it. Mason Town was an early freedman community in East Austin. It's one of the first freedman areas to be established in Austin before. Here became an influential, this region right here became an influential railroad hub. So the, ra the rise of Mason Town features like the Friedman community and also the trains. And it was pro a partnership between Raisin in the Sun and the Six Square nonprofit. I'm gonna chill in the back for a little bit. Look at all those buildings there. I can't even look. But look at all those buildings that are, they are building. I think this is the east side of Austin too.
about to check out this one right here. The title of this is Where the Wildflowers Grow. And uh, this, this project was conceived like kind of like in the middle of the pandemic time. And uh, we actually were able to, it took almost two years to kind of like go through that process to where we finally got here and painted it. And that was 2022. And the idea was kind of like still, the seed was still from the pandemic and this idea of like resilience, right? And like going through tough times and then coming out, you know, beautiful and then, you know, evolved and transformed. And so I kind of took that idea and used Texas wildflowers as a premise for uh, growing up in a really difficult kind of, you know, <laughs> space. In many levels. Right. How did you get this space offered to you or is this the one you went out? Yeah, this was, they put out a call for artists. I don't know if it was just for local artists or national, I have, I don't remember. Um, but I applied for that and I was able, they picked me and we went into the design phase. And, nice mural. Um, Looks like there's panels, so they had like sections they worked on, or he worked on, and then they put them up in sections. So that's pretty cool, I like that. Hey guys, it is 12.19. We are 20.11 miles in and I am feeling good, but my body is drenched in sweat, man. I drink water and it just comes right through my head. So like this little padding underneath, waterfall. This is still kind of cloudy outside. Wow, looking up at the buildings, it's crazy. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Just imagine if you have to clean those, how much would it take for you guys to go up there and clean each window? It'd probably take all day long, but how much would you need to get paid to do that job? if you had to do it. This is called a metal muro. It's the side of the Picasso Museum. This is a rotating program also. Um, the Picasso brings artists to have eye-catching murals on what they call the Main Street of Texas, which is Congress Avenue. The uh, objective is to have a message touching on powerful social issues. And for all the buildings in the sky. I would love to go and fly. To see. Oh, something just dropped on your head. Ouch! I bet you. Ooh, what the heck? Look at that. Whoa. That is awesome. Brett paints a lot and <laughs> I'm Taylor. This is Taylor. Yeah. Uh, she helped me with the majority of this mural. So, Curative um, and Art Plus Artisans, a local company, approached me, and um, Curative wanted a um, mural that was sort of a love letter to Austin. So, um, Curative is a company that started with um, testing during the pandemic, and then was shifting to um, a health insurance company, and they wanted, and this is their parking garage. So. They wanted to put something up here and I got lucky that they chose me. Um, and they basically, yeah, they wanted something that kind of embodied Austin and wellness without being like too direct into any of the healthcare thing. So, um, so I came up with this concept basically, just um, the hands to show um, sort of hugging Austin and also like embracing oneself as in self care. And um, then, you know, the native flora and fauna parakeets which I love I know they're not native here but they well, um, live here now they came as soon as they could exactly yeah. just like I did there's like a lot of people in Austin it took um, 40 days total um, with um, some days it was just me and her especially at the end um, that was probably the hardest time um, being exhausted but um, I also had um, at for about like 10 to 15 maybe days of the time we had two two swing stage scaffolds so if you know what those are those are the ones that like hang from the top of the building and go down yeah. it was oh. all of our first times doing it oh. um, we had harnesses ropes had yeah. to learn how to yeah. attach rope to the, the ceiling up yeah. high yeah. we had to do all that I ourselves <laughs> I think from the ground to the top it's a hundred feet um, so yeah it was um, at the top I, I, I at the first day or two was a little sketchy. Uh, my partner who helped some of it, he was uh, afraid of heights, so it took a couple days for him of going like this and like not looking down. 
but once you got used to it, you're like, it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. um, we had to also, there was like, we had to climb up and bring all of the supplies, like all of the spray paint, all the paint every day up this ladder onto the scaffold. So it started from the bottom and went up. Um, that was probably the hardest so, part of everything. Yeah, day. because like, we couldn't leave anything because it's downtown. It I mean, might fly it. off. But well, people not would that. Take it. I think people <laughs> yeah. would yeah. snatch oh, it because we yeah. use spray paint cans. If we had done mostly bucket paint, I think we could have left it, which oh, I've been wow. trying to transition into more brush painting, but for something this size, I had to go with what we were used to painting. How did you get the perspective the right, like, because it looks yeah. pristine, oh, so how did you, like... Thank you. Actually, we got really lucky. Um, I was able to project this oh, okay. um, wow. and just kind of um, trace, um, trace the outline, and it was just the perfect size my projector went just big enough mm -hmm. um and so we had the projector put right here and somebody watched it yeah. in wow. at night so, so our first overnight. time yeah our first time going on the swing stage scaffolds was at night yeah wow. <laughs> so. and then it just cast it to the wall and then there were two artists on each swing stage so there were six so artists total. we could trace we all trace uh, but yeah. otherwise there's other methods that you could use like if if my projector didn't work um uh, you would. I would probably have to have had to measure out um, little marks on here and make a grid that way, which I'm not great at math, so I got really lucky. And then there's a third method, which is called like a doodle grid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, do grid. But then we would have had to have a drone take yeah. a picture of it, and so there's. Yeah, we got lucky with our method because it was probably yeah. the easiest of the three. Yeah, that's awesome. Instagram is Brit with two T's. Paints a lot. Very impressive, very impressive. That's crazy. The details and the scale, that's, that's awesome. That's like a dream mural for like an artist right there. I've been to this event before, or maybe that was San Antonio, I'm not too sure. It's a free event though. We don't have much of those over here. Leave me alone, you keep yeah, running you after me! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Where the fuck I live? Hey guys, you okay? You all good? Fuck no, 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 you guys need to separate, separate, get some room. Get some room from each other. Hey bro, let's go take a walk, man, talk to me. No, right. you go take a walk. Hey, either one, whoever wants to talk. You want to talk to me, man? No, I don't want to talk to you. Right, man. You just, man, you ain't shit. You worse than... It's all Excuse good, me, man. Sir? You got it out. Hey, I'm leaving the property. I know, no, hey, you good. Hey, this thing. If she comes to East, if she comes to East, six feet. It's all good, man. You got it out. You... Side of the, the me. You want some I'll water? Leave, yeah, she wants me to leave alone, but she always comes on the east side. The train is gonna grow up. That's my job. Yeah. Go, I rebuke you and hell you guys. Yeah. You come to east side, yeah. You want some water? No. No? Okay. I wanna hurt her for real. It's all good. Yeah, water. Yeah, I got you, I got you. You can go ahead and have it actually. The hustle. There you go. Bitch, I don't sell no drug. Bitch, I rob. Where's cigarette man at? I swear I'll give you. Hey, be strong, man. Be strong. Just be strong. Alright. 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 Alright.
I worked at Walgreens. <laughs> you what? I worked at Walgreens and Indy, so I have experience. <laughs> oh, he just wanted to talk with them? Yeah, I just oh, made okay. sure he just kept them going walking. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no problem. Just imagine how straight you have to be like with your line yes. just to get a gradient right. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna show you guys the effect that you can get. I'm gonna try to get it on video. Perfect. That's yeah, awesome. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> Alright guys, we are uh, we finished finally. It is 413, 97 degrees outside. It got hot, I struggled, overheated almost. I had to run into like this fast food, get some water, uh, cause I gave out my water earlier. But we did 34.74 miles. But I forget to record for a segment, so it's probably like three to, three out miles on top of that, so around 37 miles altogether. It, we, we were outside for about six hours and 44 minutes. So that was a long time to be outside. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and go home and eat my Jimmy John's and roll that outro. All right guys, that was pretty fun. Cool little excursion, seeing all the murals in Austin. Had a great time. This is actually something I wanted to do, but I was gonna do it by myself. So it's good that I had like a guide to like kind of explain all the um, murals and stuff like that one. So I'm gonna head over to REI now and spend all my money. But thanks guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day today, tomorrow, and yesterday.